Chief Meteorologist Tom Coombs here summarizing the, the start of February, which we're really starting to see the stark difference between this year and the past two years when it comes to winter and snowfall. This time last year, Super Snow 57 just got done, and we were at 58 inches, almost 68 inches of snowfall, way above, and of course 2014, we know about that, but we're way below normal so far. Nationally, somewhat interesting, we actually have more snowfall nationally, uh, still on the ground, snowpack, than we did in 2015. We'll take you through it, of course, 2014 was a very snowy year, coast to coast. 2015, very little snow out west, and that's what actually put this year ahead of last year, is there's a lot more snow in the mountains of the west. Let's talk about the polar vortex update. Going back to December, tight circle, we had a record warm December, kept the cold air over the poles. Well, now it's become more lopsided. This is going into January and February, still very lopsided. Now, the coldest air is over Europe, but with that lopsided nature, we're still going to get a couple punches of cold air, and that's to come next week. Here's our long range model. We start Thursday. This is the cold air we're in for at least a day. As we go into the weekend, warmer temperatures return. And as we go into early next week, another surge of that cold air. You can see here, here's Sunday into Monday. There's the big cold air that'll blow across Lake Michigan and that'll bring us lake effect snow. So the outlook as we go into next week, looking forward above normal temperatures most of this week, below normal temperatures most of next week with highs only in the 20s and lows in the teens. Our best chance for accumulating snowfall in the near future is next week. And of course, we'll keep you posted on that on ABC 57 News.